And now it's time for another installment of Dear Future Me, with your host, me. How's it going? Long time no see. Cheers. As I'm sure you'll remember, for our very first video last year, we started a little tradition. Past me made a video speaking to future me, which is now me. And now me is gonna make a video for future, uh, you get the idea. So I thought we'd take this opportunity to reflect on the past year, take a look over last year's video and see where my head was at then, where my head's at now, and just kinda plan a little bit for 2018. Let's do it. All right, this should be fun. Now it's time for another installment of Dear Future Me, with your host, me. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Here's to 2016. Looking back over 2016, it was... 2016 was the year that... Ooh, Looking back over 2016... Oh, 2016... <clears throat> 2016 was a bit of a shit show. You think 2016 was bad? Let me tell you a little bit about 2017. <sighs> Where to begin? I think I might need to get myself in the right headspace for this. I'm just gonna have a, just a little drink, just to, just to get in the right mood. Okay, 2017. Let's talk about 2017. <sighs> 2017. I'm just gonna get another one here. <sighs> 2017 was the year. Oh God. Is it 2016 was nothing. The problem with 2017, let me tell you the problem with 2017. Oh. <sighs> What were we talking about? Oh, I was gonna tell you about 2017. 2017 was a son of a bitch. If I ever see 2017 again, I'll, I'm gonna, you see, the thing about 2017. Let me tell you a little something about 2017. Vin, Vin, are you shooting a video? What the hell are you doing? What the hell? Were you in the middle of a video? Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? I think you passed out. Holy shit. Oh. What was I talking about? I don't know. I wasn't around. Oh. I just came downstairs to check the laundry and you like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. You're a mess. Isn't that the truth? In all seriousness though, Jody's gonna join me and we're gonna take a little look back over 2017 and talk about some of our plans and goals for 2018. So, I know that I talk about Jody all the time and you guys haven't really met her, so here she is. Hi. 
Hi, what's up people? Jody's gonna join me and we're gonna kind of reflect over the year together and watch this video together and see what we think. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's watch this. And now it's time for another installment of Dear Future Me. So you're good at voices. With your host. <laughs> I mean that me. one I guess. It's your voice. How's it going? Hope good. you're doing well. <laughs> Here's to 2016. <laughs> Uh, Looking back over 2016, I don't even remember 2016. It was, All I remember is 2017. The shit 2016 show. Yeah, it was, was the year that. <laughs> Take a lot more drinks Looking for 2017. Looking back over 2016, yeah. This joke didn't land so well the first oh. time. 2016. I think you did really great for your first video. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> 2016 was a bit of a shit show. We got to slowly watch our country turn into a reality show. But honestly, 2016 was a pretty good year for me. You see, we've only got so many fucks to give. And in 2016, I really started to evaluate the things that I've been giving a fuck about. And uh, things that I give a fuck about that I'm not giving a fuck about right now. I got so you said we did have a good 2016 because i don't remember yeah. 2016 that well yeah um it's hard to kind of go back and think about what we did well we had georgia was kind of a big turning point oh yeah i forgot that about trip. our trip our trip to georgia and, and we were cabin. making a lot of positive life changes and exercising yeah. more and hiking and all that stuff we should be doing I was joking around about how much worse 2017 was and do you want to talk a little bit about 2017? 2017. 2017 was a shit show. Our dog, Coco, our, the third member our in our marriage here. Our fur baby, our snuggle bear, who we loved 15 right. years of my life. He got sick. And Fuck cancer is all I have to say. Fuck cancer. Yeah. We made his last year incredible though. We took him mm -hmm. to his favorite places and we did his favorite things with him. Vin also built him a wheelchair so he could get around with us, uh, which we could tell made Coco very happy. And um, unfortunately, after a long, hard battle, he did pass away in July. We also had a cat that we have had for about three years, but I've known her my whole life and she was very much a great comfort to me after Coco passed and we really bonded then as well. Uh, she had FIV and she was in end stages right before Christmas and unfortunately on Christmas Day She went downhill really fast and we lost her as well Basically overnight. Yeah, it sucked. It was a bitch. I kind of really just want my fucking pets back Really? Yeah. Want my dog back. I want my cat back. Damn it. 2017's a bitch 2017 was a bitch. It feels like the whole world is depressed in 2017. Yeah, fuck you, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch some more. Restructured out of my job. Oh yeah, restructured out of your job. <laughs> hey, but guess what? A positive in 2017 was that I actually, after three years of being a senior web analyst, moved into an e-commerce business analyst role, which allowed me to be challenged and I'm learning a lot and I'm on a new team. And so it's been really great. That's yeah. a positive of 2017. You kick ass. I try. So there's Kay. one last Sorry. fuck I have to give. And I've decided to give it a shot not to give a fuck about making money for other people anymore for a while. This year, I High finally realized that. that it's time to start channeling my energy into something that I actually do care about. And to get out of that rut that I've been in where I solve other people's problems and they give me money and a totally false sense of security and trade. By the way, your beard is looking spectacular this year. <laughs> <laughs> So personally, what was good about 2016? Quit smoking cigarettes, ate healthier, yes. lost a bunch of weight, gained Still a little bit smoking. of weight back, and stuffed Still myself with pie and cookie season. Two years smoke-free, mm. 2017. And let's just say right now, 2018 goals, we're not big on the whole New Year's resolution thing, as some of you may know, but we are definitely dedicating 2018 to our mental and physical health. 
Yes. Because 2017 was a rough year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the first time in my life, I can do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that's a good face, by the way. That is, <laughs> that is an excellent face. Hey, uh, we laughed a lot in 2017 since, yeah. you know, I use humor whenever I cry because yeah. I get angry and I don't want to cry. And so I say... We laughed a lot because I use humor when I cry. <laughs> well, how else do you explain me coming home and being like, I miss my fucking dog and I don't want to cry. Fuck this shit. I mean, I was kind of a baby about it, but really it sucked. It did suck. That face. Okay, move on because that <laughs> face is just making me laugh. All right. Um, I had some great times, did a little bit of traveling with Jody. 2017 was actually a pretty good year for travel. We did a lot less travel, but we managed to condense a lot of really great stuff in each trip. We went to New Orleans, which is one of our favorite cities, and we got to take Coco to one of our favorite cities. Yeah, and we spent some time with my sister and my brother-in-law and his cousin, all good people. We also went to Jazz Fest, yeah. and you've always wanted to go to Jazz Fest, which was really was fun. Cool. And we got to see Stevie Wonder, which yeah. was amazing. Um, we also got to see Galactic, which is a band that we have loved for more than a decade. And then we also saw my brother and my mom on the way back. We did a little grilling, walked around the Opryland Hotel. So that was pretty cool. We also made a nice little trip out of Portland and Colorado. And neither of us had seen Portland. Portland was amazing, as you can probably see in the footage from my procrastination video. The one thing that I remember a lot about Portland was how beautiful the trees were. Oh my God. I love fall, it's my favorite season, and I was so taken by the trees. There was every color imaginable. It was the backdrop of everything. And it was especially beautiful when we visited the Japanese garden. And then I think we kind of ruined sushi for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Sushi, yes. the sushi was... Coastal sushi. It was delicious. So much better. Yeah. All right, we better, let's get back to the video. How insane, amazing, I was gonna say amazing. Jody is for supporting me <laughs> in my decision to let go of the wheel for a little while and see if we can stay on the road. And I'm dedicated hey, 2017 on the road so to the goal that yeah, by this so time far, next so year, Jody can stop giving a fuck too. Okay, so <laughs> your so... goal was for me to stop giving a fuck. What exact, let's define that. What is exactly this, so Jody can stop giving a fuck? Cause that is a really hard feat, okay? What does the landscape look like for <laughs> me to not give a fuck? That's a tall order. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I think, I'm just gonna give I you shit right now. I think in the headspace that I was in a year ago, I was hoping that this would be a profitable thing by <laughs> now and that you wouldn't have to stress about your job, but you We'll know. get into what we learned this year about profitability and how much hard work oh, a yeah. YouTube channel is. Yeah, we're thinking about uh, doing a video together to kind of talk about what it's like as a couple to, to do try to take insane. on a venture like this. So I think at the time it was sort of maybe not having to stress about your job and hoping that this would be profitable at that point, but you've stressed a lot less about your job because you've put yourself into a new role that you're really happy in, so that's helped. Well, why don't you why don't you tell us, Jody? <laughs> Do you feel like you you feel like you're giving a fuck like you did a year ago about the wrong things and No, quite honestly, I feel like I I think with all the shit that was going on with Coco and losing him, it made me not give a fuck about a lot of stuff and yeah. it made me just realize that the things that I was stressing about weren't really that important. So, I feel a lot better. I don't feel like I stress that much. I don't and I really think give a fuck anymore. I think that overall, one of the positive things that we've done in 2017 is just to shed a lot of unnecessary baggage. 
I agree with that. A lot of unnecessary baggage is a good way to put it. I'm finally starting to realize that happiness isn't a goal off in the distance. My happiness has always come from being on the path. Spending my time on the things that I actually love to do. I, mean I think that is an important key. It's not really about arriving. Happiness yeah. is a journey. It's about the Being way the that right you are. And, yeah. Right, your headspace about things. And sometimes you're unhappy and sometimes you're happy. And it all goes together because without unhappiness, you wouldn't really know what happiness is like. Right. And I think this year has really taught us that because it was the first year in the 11 years that we've been together where we really had a lot of negative feelings, stress, grief, loneliness, mm -hmm. uh, panicking, and all of those things that go along with change. I think that's the key is that there was a huge change in our life. Our house is not normal by any means without Coco and our little bitch cat. So I think that's the key is the headspace that you're in and making that happiness. It's not in I arrived right. and it's, it's like this tangible goal that that doesn't happen. At least I don't believe so. 2018 Jody. <laughs> happiness is not a destination. <laughs> it's not a destination. I don't know if I use that word, no, I know. but that is a good recap. All right. Happiness doesn't come from never having to struggle. It comes from choosing to struggle for things that you actually give a fuck about. Now that fake plastic that. version mm -hmm. of happiness, the one where you get to this place where your problems just disappear, bullshit. A life free from <laughs> problems would be boring as hell anyway. And that's just it. A life without change or struggle or problems would be so, so how, intensely. How ironic that you were talking about all of this as we were going into 2017. It's I your know. fault. No. I know. <laughs> Well, that's what was on our mind. It is interesting. Well, <laughs> this video was very much where both of our heads were at and where both of our conversation was at at the time. Also, as we were going into 2017, the thing about having an elderly dog is that you always know that something's going to happen. And I think that's why we went to Georgia and we had that really great trip with Coco because we mm. kind of thought that would be our last summer with him. When you have a dog that's 14 years old whose legs are starting to give out on him and he has terrible arthritis, you start to think about those things. So it's interesting that you're talking about this because in the 11 years that we've been together, I think this was the year that we struggled the most. And we survived, we're here, we're happy without our fucking animals, but that's okay. We dealt, we're here, we're good. Right. But fuck that shit. <laughs> nice pause, by the way. Boring. Boring. Problems are opportunities. So what exactly did I start here? I'm not exactly sure yet. Are you sure now? Are you still unsure of what you started? I think I'm still a little unsure, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, I know that it's constantly changing. I know I have a lot more that I want to experiment with that I haven't yet. And that I really want to hit it hard this year. 2018 is going to be our year. We're going to make it our bitch. <laughs> We're going to yeah. pull its hair and spank its ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. But I'm scared and excited and overwhelmed about it, and I think that's a good sign. Above Are you all, still though, I'm just glad I'm and finally. Overwhelmed? No, not really. Excited still. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know. It's starting to feel natural. Good. I'm getting started. Rather than getting everything all planned out and perfected, good lord, it's been a major contributing factor in my ability to follow through on anything big <laughs> and resulting stress and unhappiness. That we overplan. From that god awful cycle. I'm just. I overplan. I think some of that has rubbed off on you. Yeah. I don't yeah. like surprises. Yeah. Which is my problem to work on. 2018. Might as well add it to the list. Fuck perfectionism. Fuck pretentiousness. Yes. Fuck analysis paralysis. Yes. 
this, whatever this is, is going to happen right here in front of everybody. What I do know is that I have to ruthlessly be myself, which probably means I already turned a lot of people off. <laughs> Haven't you ever Fuck wanted to go back in time and just slap the shit out of yourself? Teach yourself mm. a few lessons that would get you on track a little bit sooner. I want to start more stuff and finish more stuff and share that stuff with more people. I want to do all kinds of stuff and things. Things too. I want to do some things. <laughs> I think we did lots of stuff and things this year. I did. I did a lot of stuff and things, and I'm I'm happy with the level of stuff and things that I've done, but I feel like I'm in the exact same headspace now. Like it's come full circle. Well, and over you're the very course of the year. you're very motivated here as well. So that's a positive. Yeah. And you have made iterative changes. Yeah. I've done a lot of experimenting and trying different formats, and I don't think I'm done doing that yet, but... I think it'll always evolve. I think yeah. that's just part of the process. Nothing is ever perfect. And you even said in the video, giving up the perfectionism. Yeah. What I saw as too much perfectionism then that was stopping me from even getting started, but it hasn't totally gone away because now I'm looking at my videos and thinking I, I want to remove a little polish and you know, get make them just a little bit more natural. I agree. I don't watch every video because I want to see what your progress is uh, from a fresh perspective, and I feel as though you have gotten way more natural. It's more of the Vin that I know on the videos and not some of the mannerisms that I know show that you yeah. weren't quite comfortable with the camera at first. Right. It's still weird to talk to a camera. Not for me, really. <laughs> Not for you. What I want to do is share the process of figuring it out as I go. To teach by doing. To inspire by failing. To get a good laugh out of the bullshit of it all. And not Amen. to give a fuck about filtering myself. By the way, does it still feel really douchey when you talk to yourself on a camera? Because that's been a struggle. <laughs> you were just for, talking about that. For this first video. I feel like a total douche right now. But I'm hoping that part gets better. The good thing Did is, that as of this video, I don't feel douchey about it anymore. Good. Unless I'm in public. <laughs> if I'm in public, it feels so douchey. People probably look at you really strange. But I feel as though this is becoming more common with people having, especially yeah. selfie sticks. Ugh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on selfie sticks. <laughs> we could do well. a whole video on my peeve with selfie sticks, but we won't. <laughs> I'll save you the trouble there. I really don't want to box myself in any tighter, so I'm going to leave it at that. I just want you to look back at 2016, messed up as it might have been, and remember that for you, it was a year of beginnings and endings. So here's to beginnings. You're still cheesy after yeah. all those years. That's me though. I'm a walking dad joke. All right, so to close things off, I thought we could talk a little bit about our goals for 2018. So on the personal goals, we're gonna be focused mostly on our health. That's both our mental health and our physical health. And then there are really three things that I would like to do with this channel in 2018. <laughs> You're a dork. So the first thing that I want to focus on is authenticity. I don't feel like I've been not myself, but over time I've kind of become more myself. And I'd like to get away from the scripting and just talk a little more like, like this video here. Um, I, I, think, I think it's important. I yeah. think it helps the channel with your integrity if you are more authentic. Yeah. And I feel don't like... mix that up with sincere because you are sincere. Mm, uh, that's a good way to put it. The authentic comes in where your behaviors are right. normal and natural. Or just all the, like we were talking about earlier, it's just too much over planning. Right. A lot of people throw around the word authenticity, but I think in in this context, I mean less editing, less scripting, more just my thoughts kind of off the cuff. The second thing that I would like to focus on in 2018 is putting out more videos. 
I'd like to continue to do the videos that I already do on a weekly basis as I could pull them off, but also add more live stream content and some shorter videos as well. I feel like I had a lot of really good ideas in 2017 that I didn't act on and I want to set things up so that I can be a little more spontaneous with these videos and to that effect I've been working my ass off down in this studio to get everything just ready, set up, ready to film. What was the third Trace. thing? Trace. Trace. <laughs> so the third and I think the most important thing that I'd like to focus on in 2018 is building more of a community, getting involved more in existing communities, and collaborating more with other people. Basically, whatever I can do to get this here out of its little bubble that it's in. Does Jody have any thoughts on this stuff? We're gonna make 2018 our bitch. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. It's going down, 2018. This is our year. <laughs> <laughs> so, good riddance to 2017. I think we can agree on that one. Yes. And here's to 2018. Until next year. Peace. Is that better? That was perfect. My dude, like, You're peace. better at this than I am. Really? I don't know about that. This is what dedication looks like, people.